Well, it is truly a new beginning for Indian Space Research Organization as it is all set to welcome the new year with its new mission. India's first mission for 2024 will study emission mechanism from black holes, neutron stars, active galactic nuclei, etc. The PSLV C-58 Expo Stat mission will be launched at around 9 10 a.m. from the first launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota. The mission carries two primary payloads, POLXI, and EXPECT, along with 10 other satellites. Well, this is the latest that we are bringing to you right now on the broadcast. Well, it's, the, it's truly a new beginning for Indian Space Research Organization as it is all set to welcome the new year with its new mission. Now, India's first mission for 2024 will study emission mechanism from black holes, neutron stars, active galactic nuclei, etc. Now, the PSLV C-58 ExpoSat mission will be launched at 9, 10 a.m., from the first launch pad at Shatish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota. And for more on this, let me go across to my colleague Dharani, who joins us live. Uh, Dharani, if you could help us with more details uh, regarding the launch event, which is yet to take place at around 9 a.m. Well, ExpoSat uh, stands for X-ray polarization satellite and arrived at 9-10 uh, uh, a.m. from the first launch pad at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in uh, Shrigiri Kota. This launch will happen. And, uh, you know, uh, this uh, mission will mark uh, India's first dedicated in, uh, you know, endeavor uh, to study uh, the polarization of uh, cosmic X-rays from uh, celestial objects. So the spacecraft will study black holes and neutron stars. Uh, and, you know, uh, this will give us insights into some of the most enigmatic features of the universe is what scientists are telling. So the final leg of preparations are currently underway. Uh, the final rounds of uh, checkings and testings are currently underway and uh, sharp at 9, 10 a.m. Uh, from the first launch pad at the Satish Dhawan Space Center, uh, ExpoSat will be launched into the space with the PSLV rocket. And, you know, as far as uh, uh, PSLV is concerned, this is India's 60th uh, PSLV mission. They have so far had uh, 59 uh, PSLV missions and this will be India's 60th uh, PSLV mission. And, uh, you know, of course, this has happened on the first day of the uh, 2024 uh, you know, uh, year, first day of the new year, and this marks, uh, it, this makes it you know all the more special. Uh, you know, ISRO is going to launch a satellite to study uh, black holes and neutron stars, uh, stars on the very first day of the new year itself. And uh, definitely, last year was a blast year for ISRO. Uh, we had a successful launch of Chandrayaan 3, and we also launched uh, Aditya L1, you know, into the uh, um, you know space. So after two mega successful launches this year, uh, on the very first day itself, this uh, ISRO is starting its work, and uh, we only have one more hour left for this, uh, you know, ExpoSat uh, ExpoSat launch to happen. And of course, the public can view this, uh, you know, a launch in person from, from from the public gallery here in the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Shrigiri Kota. And since morning, I've been, of course, seeing families, especially kids, they are, you know, bringing their kids here to witness this launch in person. Uh, people who are, you know, very much interested in space, they'll want to, uh, you know, uh, see. Uh, rocket launch in person on the very first day of the year and you know uh, they are coming here in person to witness this and we, we have almost one hour for this launch to happen and uh, you know uh, let's let's all wait hope uh, ho let's all wait hoping for a positive result in this uh, launch Right, Dharini. Dharini, I would also like you to uh, like to ask you that India has always led in terms of the space research side <coughs> after a soft landing of Chandrayaan 3. Now, how will this mission help India? Well, as I told, the primary objective here is to study the polarization of cosmic X-rays from celestial sources. So, so far, the uh, you know other space agencies that have tried to uh, study uh, the uh, you know uh, cosmic X-rays, they they've been focusing on the other angles, the uh, you know the uh, diameter and the other angles. But uh, uh, India will be the first country to focus on polarization. So, the main objective here is to study the polarization of X-rays from celestial uh, sources. And as I told, the spacecraft will also study uh, black 
holes and uh, neutron uh, stars so these are two uh, you know objects that uh, do not have a lot of that we do not have a lot of understanding about so definitely whatever the data that we are able to get out of uh, uh, our study into black holes and neutron stars this will help us uh, get a better understanding of the universe itself in the first place because uh, uh, you know beat a black hole or a neutron star these are some of the most enigmatic uh, you know uh, substances you know in the universe objects in the universe and we uh, the human kind doesn't have a, a great understanding about uh, these objects so what the data that we are able to get out of you know this satellite you know through this mission uh, about black holes and neutron stars this will help us uh, you know enhance our understanding and also to uh, apply this formula in our in upcoming uh, projects to uh, study the same you know the similar kind of objects uh, so these are the two primary you know objectives here and of course uh, uh, right. uh, you know uh, last year we we had a very you know a, a blissful year as far as isro is concerned with chandrayaan 3 and aditya l1 and now uh, this year we are going to start our uh, uh, you know streak on the very first day of the year itself and of course we only have one more hour for this mission to go into air all right dharini i appreciate you joining us live with all those important details on the broadcast